Hey folks, Trace Monk here, playing some more Crusader Kings 2 as the Byzantine Empire as Basileus, Basileos the Hunter. Uh, we are currently marching our retinue and the Varangian guards down here, where, uh, taking a quick look at it, we need the Duchy of Antioch under our control we can take Antioch in one quick succession well okay hopefully quick succession of wars because it each of the three counties is held by a different ruler so we can just declare war on all three of them and take a stack down there trash them uh, right now we're going to continue to let this army march down that way. And we need to uh we need to give away and hold a grand tournament weak claims. Oh, okay, well whatever. Uh we need to give away this uh, Benevento here to someone who's not us. So, men not in prison, married any ruler, no. Yeah, my religion, my culture, adult, yes. And I actually don't care if they're a great house or not. Um, you have high stewardship. In fact, you are an administrator. Uh, we will grant you the county of Benevento. May you convert it quickly to the Orthodox faith, brother. Probably not, though. Okay, so... We're probably going to need seven or eight thousand guys total to take this out. To take this, take these guys out. Wow, the Aegean Islands, Epirus. Yeah, those guys like me plenty well. Uh, if we look at mercenaries in terms of strength, who can we kind of get for? I guess actually let's yeah let's look at totals here uh, I don't know that we can get anybody quite for cheap enough I mean we already have the Varangians so we could use some of our better vassal levies for this though it might take them a while to get over here what do we have here Mountains, desert, mountains. So we could park our army here in the mountains while we wait for backup from vassals. I think we'll do that. Um, what do we have for retinue right now? We have... I want to say right now we have a... We have two skirmish, two skirmish retinues, a defense and a light skirmish. Yeah. So, next up on the menu is actually a pair of skirmish retinues. Oh, they just kind of like hopped right over that, didn't they? just you guys come back here come back here for a minute yeah that's right I told you to wait all right go on so right now I have kingdom and duchy vice royalties so I may eventually have to create some kingdoms and 
hand them out to viceroys. Uh... Yeah, let's give him that, balance him out a little bit. Do we have... Ooh, good. Yeah. Countess Let's see, who else do we have here? Strategitissa? No, we don't want to mess with her. Count Theodoros. And Count Theo Count Theo Ktsos? Weird. Uh I say weird. It's a I assume it's a proper old Greek name. Now prisoners. Uh, actually, we want us to try to ransom. No. Ransom yourself. Give me more gold. Uh, hmm, okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, eventually we'll, I think we'll make some of these kingdoms. Probably, okay. That's Greece. That's Anatol Anatolia. And that's Sicily. Okay. All right, I think now is wartime. Declare war for, what are you, Iskandarun? Oh, really? I have to declare a holy war for Antioch. Can I declare war on you at all? No. Oh, well, he's not independent. Who is he? Oh, is he the vassal of this... Mustarazid guy? Oh, okay. Can I declare war on you? Oh. Uh... Huh. Okay, Antioch is not de jure. Okay, then. Uh, do we not have anybody better than you? We have people better than you. Uh, he's one of my strategos. You fabricate a claim on that. Because I'll be honest. I don't want to declare a holy war. Uh, who's this guy? Marwanid? Does he just have the one? Is the county? Yeah. Okay, well, we can still take some land here. 
is your claim on that yeah we can still we can still take some land over here it was not useless moving our armies um although it might be it might have been better to move him there because we're not going no mm, here because we're not going to declare war on this guy right now because if we look at Dejure Empire I don't even think he has any of our land right now kind of weird that this includes non Dejure provinces but eh, I guess it's understandable okay so you know what we'll actually just declare war on this guy right now and say do we get it you know, we would gain the county in that case nope Imperial admin. Theodotos here of Nikea. Okay. Uh, you like me? Uh, opinion map mode. Opinion of Bezaleos. Yeah, and you're not a terrible ruler are they gonna get out of there 10th of July 15th of July do we have an organizer Cavalry leader, battlefield terrain master, flat terrain expert, siege leader, heavy infantry. I am not seeing. Nope, no organizers. Darn. It means we're going to kind of be slow anywhere we go. Luckily, I don't think this guy can siege down anything that we have. Trap is a s Hey, we fulfilled our ambition. And we inherited this county over here. Uh, which does still need conversion. If we look at the religious map mode, where was... Oh, wow. Yeah. Trapezus is orthodox. Uh, we should move them over here to, you know, some of this land over here. That's orthodox already. Uh, and we need another one of you great gentlemen here to grant Atienities to. I think I still have a truce with you. Yes, I do. For about another six months. Uh... Yeah, what was my wife thinking? I need church opinion. Uh, Count 
Hummus. He is one of my direct vassals, but he is only a count. Uh, yes, let's... No longer Mysticos. Oh, he was my, uh, he was my spy master. You, my man, you have to be my spy master and scheme in the capital. And you, uh, let's see. Technology spread rate. Uh, military tech is 11, 11, 10, and yeah, so if we look at my domain, if you're going to research military tech, you need to be there. Increase the spread out there. Duchies. No, Duchies. Salerno. Oh, I guess I can't. I'm not sure why I can't usurp the Duchy of Salerno. That's something I'm not sure of. And if I look at the, like, religion map mode, who's, who's Orthodox? So, we have this king here. But I bet, oh, I have to, he has to be at peace uh, for us to do that. Are you like a, you're a countess? Oh, you are my vassal. Uh, and that's part of this other guy here. You are not a vassal of me. You're a vassal of Bulgaria. He wouldn't because he's a king. And I'm probably not that much more powerful than him right now. Uh, Duke Domagoge the Unready. Yes, this gentleman over here with with the with the Croatia we so need. Uh, and we would want Veglia, not Usora, right now. So he has one ally, but that's the count of Usora. And 593 men. We could hire a small mercenary band and go attack him. Or even just, you know, raise some local, uh, local-ish liege levies. I say that. Why are you like independent of anybody. Oh, that's right cuz your duchy's over there. That's so annoying. Uh Um raise my own levies and march them over there. I guess that wouldn't be too bad of a thing to have. Guys, 
meet up there. So we sieged, we have not quite sieged this guy out yet. Why would I lose the Duchy of... Oh, I inherited the Duchy of Nicaea again. Wow, that was fast. Uh, I guess then you... Can I grant you a Vice Royalty? Yes, I can. Because you... If I go to Opinion Mode, you 16, 10, 39, 39, yeah. to exceed to the demands. Okay. Now I have this... Well, it's Greek Orthodox land. So I don't even have to give this to... I can give this to a guy with good marshal Lycandos. That no, I need to take at least. Oh, this thing is de jure of that emirate. I have cannot usurp the primary title. Yeah, but it's got five titles in it. Okay, you don't have a lot of men. Let's... Oh, I have raised army levies. Dope. Well, no more wars for a little while, I guess. A few more months, at least. kinda he has reason to be proud, but he also should be careful to be humble. It tends to help out a little bit. A little bit. Oh, I had another son. No special traits. Assault that. Assault that. Okay. Yeah, he's... Okay, disband. Um... Croatian Catholic. Okay, we need... We need stewardship fellow. You get... Kirikon. And Duchy of Croatia is... Oh. Okay, so I have Croatia now. I have all of it. Uh, so I can usurp Croatia. 449 gold. And... You have the highest opinion of me, but you have territory that has, like, no levies. So, if anybody tried to fight you about it... Uh, 
All right, we're after that white stag. Uh, which... 14, 15... 15, okay. I think we'll just split his land here. Can we move you? Yes, we can. Good. Okay. Declare war. Uh, for Adana. So. Twelve years in. Doing alright here. Oh, my eldest son is of age. What about his brother? He's got three years. We really need to track it with my with him. crap. Uh, I just inherited a title from somebody. It wasn't a duchy. It was this county over here. Dang it, man. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you knock, an old crone opens. When she sees you in your hunting party, she cackles eerily and says that there's a powerful potion to make you a stronger hunter. Let's try the potion. This feels good. Okay. Who would give me an actually decent amount of... You would give me a decent amount of levies. You would give me a decent amount. You wouldn't. You really wouldn't either. Uh, but let's take levies from these guys here. Have him gather up and go assault his stack over here. And my wife is pregnant again. Oh, my half-brother. I was hoping he'd take the vows. I need to marry my son to somebody. Let's see. Bunch of young people, but not very many good young folks. go to arrange betrothal for him though we still don't really have better options have more options but 
I think this strong, ambitious, gregarious courtier being trained uh, in diplomacy here is probably a good choice for him. Let's arrange that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually have to stop here. I'll see you folks next time when we will bash this army in and take his land. Uh, see you then.